Hi, I'm Jeff, Master Prototyper and Enterprise Trainer here at Protopie, and I'd like to show you how easy it can be to interact with a smart device such as a smart lock using the Protopie Connect API plugin. Now, my Pi here is already built, and it doesn't do a whole lot. It does three things. It gets the state of the lock when it starts and allows you to lock or unlock the lock. And that's it. There's not a whole lot of interaction going on here. What I will show you is how to create the integration using Protopie Connect. Now, I'm using something called Home Assistant. This is open source software for your smart home devices. And the neat thing about Home Assistant is that it allows you to bring a lot of devices together that weren't necessarily designed to work together. Furthermore, Home Assistant gives you a REST API that you can use, and we can use this with the API plugin in Protopie Connect to interact with our smart lock without writing any code at all. We're going to be using three of the services listed here. Number one, get states by entity ID. This is going to allow us to get the state of our lock when the Pi starts. And then we're going to be using this one, API services, and we're going to use this to lock or unlock the door. The way that works with Home Assistant, it, our services are grouped by domain, and that's typically the device type. So in this case, a lock and then the action you want to take. So lock or unlock. Let's see how this gets set up. Here in Protopie Connect, I'm going to go to the API plugin and I'm going to make some new configurations. So I'm going to make a new one here. Let's drop this down. This first one is going to be for getting the lock state. And if we go back to our we go back to the documentation for the API plugin, we'll see that this is a get request. So I'm going to choose get right here. The URL I'm going to leave blank. My Pi is providing the URL. So if we take a look here, it's providing the URL as the value that accompanies the message. And I've done it this way so that way this get states configuration protopy connect can be reused for a number of different smart home devices, not just for this lock. So I'm going to leave that blank. The header I need to provide, this is what gives the authorization. Now this is an authorization key that has been provided or that I've generated inside Home Assistant. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here. And this request doesn't have a body, so I'm just going to leave this blank. Two more things I need to configure. The message that my Pi will send when it wants to trigger that. So let's grab this one, HA get states, paste it right here. And this is where I specify that the URL is being overridden. I'm going to check this box and I'm going to choose URL from this dropdown. And then lastly, I need to specify the message that Connect is going to send back to my Pi once the request is complete. And that's going to be this message right here, HA state. And I'm going to paste that here. And there we go. Let's activate that. And we'll call this HA for Home Assistant get state. Now let's create our second config. This is going to be for unlocking the door. So let's hit this plus right here. The endpoint I'm going to use here is a post request. So I'm going to use post as the method, post. And I am going to specify the URL here. I only have the option to override one of the three items, either the URL, the header, or the body from Protopy Connect. And in this case, I will be overriding the body. So I'm going to specify the URL specifically here. So let's take a look here. And I've already put this URL together. And I'm going to paste it right here. Header needs to be the same. As we had before, this is the authorization. So let's copy this, paste it here. And this time, the body, I'm going to leave blank again, but I'm going to have it overridden down here when we specify our messages. And let's go back and take a look. I'm using this message, HA unlock, to unlock the door. Paste this here. And I'm going to override the body. And lastly, I need to grab this message that's going to come back. Now notice how this is different. This is HA states plural, whereas this one is just HA state. When you call the get state endpoint, you are getting back the state for one particular device. When you call a service, it might actually change the state of a number of different devices, and therefore they will be sent back as an array through Home Assistant. So this is a different message and as such a different payload that I'm going to be working with. That's why I have two separate messages here. So this will be HA states, plural. And we'll say activate to that. Let's call this HA unlock. And one more. This is going to be very similar to the unlock, but it's going to be for lock. So let's just duplicate this. Duplicate, we'll call this HA lock. And I need to change two things. One is going to be the URL that I'm calling. So let's take a look here and I've already got this pre-composed, so let's grab this, paste it here, 
the authorization is the same, so I'm going to leave the header as is. The one thing I need to change is the message. So let's grab this one, HA lock right here. And there we go. Now I've got this set up. This is all I need to do to have Protopy Connect configured. And we can see this in action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in that Home Assistant LockPy file. I'm going to put it here. And for now, I'm just going to preview it on my desktop. We'll be doing this on my phone later. But let's just put this over here. And let's take a look at our lock here. And we can cur currently see that my door is unlocked. And notice how my state that I see in my Pi over here matches the state. And if I change it here, it should lock the door. There we go. Lock the door. And the state came back in here. And same thing, I can unlock it by doing the same thing. There we go. Very cool. Let's go take a walk to my front door and see this in action. Now the first order of business is we want to make sure that our Pi is running on our phone. I designed this to run on a phone. I want it to work on my phone. So I have the ProtoPie Player app installed on my phone. And from within ProtoPie Connect, I'm just going to click on Connect and go to QR Code. That's going to create a QR code that I can scan with the ProtoPie Player app. And there we go. Now we've got now we've got the Pi running on my phone. And you can see it already reflects the state of my lock. Notice how it's fully retracted, unlocked. Let's see if we can lock it. There we go, it locked. And we've got the status update coming back to say that the door has been locked. And let's do it again, let's unlock it. And there you go. That is how easy it is to work with smart devices of any kind using the API plugin.